Hello, my name is Liz. Welcome out everybody to my 20th anniversary of the Drama the TV show. Here's the thing, everybody. 20 years ago, and Drama the TV show came out. What is this show about? Oh, it's Kevin Sorbo. It's Hercules in space, and that's basically what it is. Kevin Sorbo is like a character. Uh, he's in space. He's uh, there's a fleet called the Commonwealth and all this of an organization, and they were in battle with Denichians, a different race of human beings and all this stuff, a warlike and what happens is he's trapped in a black hole. 200 years later, he's rescued by a different crew. Of the past that he knows is gone. He was a, He's the last of his kind of the Commonwealth. So what he does for the first two seasons, Kevin Sorbo's character, is he tries to rebuild the Commonwealth, making alliances, meeting his new crew, and basically forming the relationships with them. And the first two seasons are, to me, fantastic. I love them. They were corny-ass TV shows at its finest. Corny jokes, terrible effects, terrible practical effects. But it was like the early 2000s and all that stuff. Granted, it did get better over time and all this stuff. But the first two seasons had a direction of where they wanted to go. You had such great characters, such as Tyr, a very uh, Nietzschean who is very different than Kevin Sorbo's character, but he does respect him. I love the, and my favorite character is Rami, the android, who is technically in love with Dylan Hunt, but she's great. Um, there's a lot of stuff I love about Andromeda. There's Trance, there's Becca, there's uh, um, Harper. I mean, there's so many great characters in this one, and there's... There's just so much stuff I love about Andromeda. It's it's like a lot of nostalgia all mixed into one. And even though the first two seasons are great, and the third season is pretty good, the fourth and fifth season kind of killed this show for me is because they lack a direction. You know, behind the scenes, they had some issues with, like, the, the original producer for the first two seasons, he left, and then Kevin Sorbo tried to take over, try to do something. But, you know, Kevin Sorbo, he's very religious, so he kind of put his religious aspect into it. There was not a lot of good things for, like, Tears, de uh, tears Death and all this. So sorry for spoiling it and all this shit. But there's a lot of things I loved about drama the first three seasons. But the last two kind of just took it away from this. I really enjoyed this show. I think this show, even though it's with all this cheese and corniness, it is utterly just pure nostalgia. It makes me smile. The theme song, they had two different theme songs and I loved it. The action was pretty dang good and even though a lot of the story is kind of filler in some cases, but it was just a feel fun good time. I would put, I literally bought the season two of this on Blu-ray eh, from England and all that stuff. And it was just, I go back to it now and again because I'm like, I want to watch good old fashioned television. And when people say, well, what's good old-fashioned television? TV today is good. I'm like, yeah, TV shows are good, but there's not a lot of sci-fi shows right now. The, last, the only good sci-fi show I know right now is The Expanse. Other than that, there's not a lot of good sci-fi shows. You're telling me the CW TV shows are great? Oh, no, they're awful. They are completely awful. People said Andromeda was awful. Here's the thing. Andromeda was awful for behind-the-scenes issues. They didn't have as much money as the CW shows. They didn't have enough special effects to be put into this entire stuff. The special effects weren't up to date. The actors weren't given up proper scripts and all that stuff. Like, if we're doing, like, what, what, it's, I'm getting tongue twisted, but if we're looking back at what is a TV show and what the studio puts behind it, whether it's uh, the the special effects, where it's the money, whether it's the script writing, or like, it, when it was fully behind the TV show, you knew when something was being cherished. The Arrow, you, Arrowverse, there's so much money put into the TV shows, into the costumes, into the special effects, into the writing in some cases, but even though it went downhill after a while, there was a devotion to these shows to actually make it look presentable. And along with Game of Thrones too, but the thing is, though, I I rather watch Andromeda over Game of Thrones because Game of Thrones fucked up their ending, and then the Arrowverse, they're nothing but SJW politics twenty four freaking seven and all that stuff. I mean, Andromeda is a show that didn't really get a lot of respect, a lot of love for its time. It didn't get little. It didn't even get a lot of people like. No, people watch it, but the thing is, though, they didn't get a lot of people behind the scenes trying to push this show to actually make a good, great show and all that stuff. I mean, the showrunner, the original showrunner left in the first two seasons, and then they had to limp their way to a finish line 
to which not a lot of people were satisfied with the entire show. To me, I still enjoy the show. I think it's actually a good show. And even though it didn't leave on on the greatest part, like Game of Thrones and all this stuff, at least the characters remained true to themselves. And the story actually went to different takes. Unlike the Arrowverse, which is just the same old stuff. Characters can't die and all that shit. I mean, there's something I really love about Andromeda. I don't know what it is. It's the cheesiness. It's the uh, characters. It just reminds me of this old-fashioned family sci-fi stuff that I love. Because my first uh, love for TV shows in general was the sci-fi universe and all this stuff. I'm now into more of the vampires and all that shit. Uh, the supernatural elements, so, but sci-fi was my number one first true love for TV. I mean, I was into Stargate, SG-1, Atlantis, and then I got a little bit into Star Trek Enterprise and all that stuff, and then Andromeda, I mean, uh, Dark Matter, I mean, there were so many great sci-fi shows that I was, like, totally invested with and all that stuff, and Firefly, who could forget Firefly? And there was just a lot of stuff I loved about Andromeda. It reminded me of that old-school way of television where they didn't bust uh, political messages, that they didn't shit uh, political messages down your throat. It actually made you feel like you were a part of something. It actually makes oh, let's go watch another episode, another adventure, and all that stuff. And it leads to a pretty dang good finale. So to me, the Andromeda TV show, 20 year anniversary, I appreciate this show. I know I'm rambling on, but to me, my love for Andromeda is just, it reminds me so much of my childhood, so much of nostalgia, so much of that. It doesn't make it a great show. It doesn't make it like a great show for acting, it doesn't make a great show for special effects. But then again, when the show has never had like a good uh, behind the scenes production, when the show was not uh, meant to be carried on and not meant to be successful, I do have appreciation for shows that are basically cut off the legs by either the studios, by fans, which is very rare to fans ever return against a TV show. But it's I always feel something for TV shows that always get canceled because of ratings or because of like the script writers and what didn't like the stuff. I'm always a fan of those shows. I'm not a fan of shows who are getting overly exposed and just to make a quick bug to do cash and drills like the Arrowverse and all this stuff and don't care about story and don't care about development. And to me the Arrowverse uh, is <laughs> one of the worst uh, series I've seen. And Andromeda like so many other shows like Firefly they get cancelled uh, in my opinion, not from the prime, but they are cut off the legs to a standard. They're not meant to succeed. But to me, Andromeda TV show, 20 year anniversary, I love this show. I will always love this show because, again, it's part of who I am to this day. It's part of my childhood. And even though I will never probably collect the entire series, thank you, season four, the worst of the seasons, but Andromeda TV show, I will always love, I will always respect, I always go back to this show, and it will always make me smile. Because Andromeda TV show was awesome, and I think every single actor that portrayed it that was part of this show. And I just want to say thank you if, you if anybody's even watching this. I don't even care if it's two views, seven views. I do this for YouTube videos because I have a passion for the, even though the shows are forgotten for and will never be talked about ever again. It's just like, eh, it was just there, this TV show. This show may be just there, but to me, a special place in my heart. Andromeda, thank you. Goodbye. I love you. Drama the TV show, let me know what y'all think. Want to subscribe if you like, just gonna bomb, leave a comment down below. Let me know, respect my parents, respect yours. What is your personal opinion about Andromeda the TV show? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you say, what is your personal opinion, everybody, about Andromeda the TV show? Let me know what y'all think, everyone. My name is Lisa. I'm everybody. Bye bye.